Let your spirit grow wings and fly And fly with me And fly with me Alright, hi out there in the YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In this video I want to talk about sidereal astrology versus tropical astrology. What really are the differences and what's the better system? Sidereal astrology looks at where the sun is in actual aspects to the constellations. Whereas tropical astrology is in tune with the seasons. Now, both use the same zodiac system, whether it be Vedic or Western, the 27 or the 12. And it always starts at Aries or Ashwini, which is in the head, and goes all the way down to the bottom. Now, I think tropical, cat out of the, or rabbit out of the hat, so to speak, is I think tropical is way more the system to use. Why? Because at the time that astrology was really solidified, like in Egyptian times, the system that we use even today, those 12, were used in Egyptian times. Now, Virgo was at the time of the harvest, as well as Libra at the equinox. Now, Libra is the scale. So if we think about sidereal astrology, how it keeps shifting back with the sign that we see in the sky. Eventually, Virgo is gonna be in the middle of winter. That doesn't make sense, because Virgo is the harvest of the end of the seasons. Which means that astrology is linked to the seasons. So at the time of the formulation of astrology, as above, so below, they used those as markers, the constellations as markers, similar to as if we do on a clock. The, uh, you know, 12 and then goes all the way around, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, etc. Now imagine that it shifted a little bit. Well, if it shifts like that, really, if you think about like what is more important, like if it only shifts one degree backwards throughout the zodiac per 72 years, one degree every 72 years, now imagine that that was our clock that we use, you know, like on our day-to-day -day lives. Would it make sense if five o'clock was midnight, or if midnight was when it was noon and the sun is high in the sky? What would be more important or relevant? The actual energies that were coming down, or the markers that were made at the time? So that's why a lot of the constellations, sometimes people are like, well, how did they make that look like Leo? That, that doesn't look like a scale. Well, because those were the energies that were represented or channeled to them in that time, in that moment. It didn't necessarily have to do with the stars themselves, but the stars acted as a marker, which shifts sidereally. So if you're thinking about an individual, I think that it is much more, it makes a lot more sense to use the seasons or tropical astrology. Whereas sidereal astrology uses the stars as markers and they shift. So I don't necessarily think that that is the best system to use per individual. Because, like I said, with Virgo, like that's supposed to be the time of the harvest. And if that's eventually shifted into the middle of the winter, then it doesn't, you know, or Libra being the balance. That has to be on the equinox. It doesn't make sense if it's not on the equinox. And if it's shifted, yeah, it might be shifted. And that can be used as a time marker, 
you know, to mark in the ages, which are very special things. It's a unit of time. But it's such a vast amount of time being that it's only one degree every 72 years, like, and 26,000 years to go around the whole cycle. So, I think if we're talking about an individual, then it makes a lot more sense to be tapped into the wave function that is our seasons. Because the signs are in have been devised for the seasons if you study them, like Aries is all about like the rebirth and you know. Like cardinal energy, fire, like things are just starting to grow. It's like a baby, and it's like, you know. And you go through the whole cycle. Like if you've had any astrology books in that, you would know that it represents like the cycle of rebirth from like being a baby, or new, to dying, and all of the signs represent different stages of life, even if you correlate them to Vedic astrology, and Vedic astrology is not sidereal. Like when people, I have, there's some videos on YouTube that say like, <sighs> Vedic versus tropical, and that's not true, it's sidereal versus tropical, because not all Vedic teachers use sidereal. A lot of them, even some ancient sages from like over a thousand years ago in texts, specify that they use tropical, that it is not the stars themselves, but the spaces. Which that might be too deep for some of you to understand, but Aries always starts in spring. It is the head, and, and all of the signs go down. Starting with Aries, the ram the horns, that represents the head. So, I, I hope I haven't been too, too biased towards the tropical, even like, obviously I'm going to be biased towards it because that's the system I use, and unless we're talking about ages, I don't think there's relevance to chart readings. Because if you have aspects to planets, like if there's an opposition or a trine or a square, that is still going to exist in a sidereal chart is just going to be shifted. So, in that regard, it's going to still have some accuracy, but the signs are, will be wrong. Like, I'm sorry to be so blunt about it, but using the Vedic system, um, my ascendant is Kritika, the knife, so I can be a little cutting sometime. And I've looked into all of the systems and applied them both, and I found tropical to, to be a lot more accurate, so. Let's just leave it at that. I'm sure I've stirred the pot quite a bit, so to speak, so uh, leave me your feedback and uh, look forward to what you guys have to say. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you've watched to this point and you just hated it. I'm sorry, but just being honest with my opinion, so. And I'll see you in future videos. <laughs> Let your spirit grow wings and fly And fly with me And fly with me